Hi guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Anthony Wood and this is Shop Mad. And in today's video, I'm going to be making this drill vise. So stay tuned and let's get it made. I'm just going to start with planing a top edge on this board. Now that I've got the stock squared and flat, I need to measure out 260 millimeters. Now this is going to be for the base. And I'm just going to cut this section out on the table saw. I've made a mark 30 millimeters in and 60 millimeters in on the 260 millimeter long length. I'm going to cut two sections out and this is for the base of the vise. And again I'll cut this out at the table saw. I've now got the two pieces cut out for the base so I'll put those to one side and now I'm going to make up the jaws I'm going to need three in total one for the tail one for the head and one for the clamping jaw and I'm going to make them 45 by 30 millimeters I want to create a 45 degree angle on the jaws so I'm going to do this at the table saw I've got the 45 degree angle cut and now I'm going to cut out three sections at 130 millimeters. Well I hope you can see where I'm going with this now. I've got the three jaws cut. The end jaw is going to be static. The centre jaw is going to be the one that moves and clamps up to the end jaw. And this jaw here I'm going to drill an 11mm hole through for a 10mm threaded bar. Well I've marked out where I'm going to drill the 11mm hole. I've also marked out where I'm going to put two guides either side of the jaws which I've made in 16 millimeters by 20 millimeters either side. Now I'll be putting these two holes on two jaws. I'm now just going to measure in 215 millimeters and I'm going to cut the two guides out of a 10 millimeter steel tube. As you can see I've put in the two 10 millimeter guides that I've just cut and I've just done it just to put it together just to make sure it slides freely backwards and forwards of which it does. I'm now going to cut this jaw in half. I want to do this at the bandsaw. I now need to bore a hole here to accept a washer, which I'm going to insert there. Well, I've recessed one part that will hold the nut which attaches to the bolt. The other part I've recessed is for a washer. I'm now just going to glue these two pieces together.
while the glue's drying on the movable clamp I've pre-marked some hole centers in four corners of the base now these are going to get countersunk so I can attach the end jaw <laughs> I'm now going to use two part epoxy to glue in the two nuts. Again, using two part epoxy, glue in the two guides. I'm now going to proceed to glue on the head which houses the 10mm threaded bar with the two nuts which I've glued in with two part epoxy. I'm now going to drill out 6mm holes to insert dowels to hold the head jaw. Right, I'm now just going to make a small handle for the end of the drill vise. So I'll make this 35mm by 35mm, then I'll pop it over the lathe and I'll get a handle turned out. I'm just going to make the handle 170mm long, so I'm going to carve this out with a similar shape as my skew chisel. I'm now going to drill out a 9mm hole in the end of the handle. This is for the threaded rod for the clamping jaw. I'm just going to tap out the 9mm hole to size M10.
I must apologise in advance. I forgot to hit the record button when I was turning this on the lathe. But in any case, there's the finished item. And the handle is just going to go on the threaded bar. And I'm going to use some two-part epoxy and I'm going to get this glued on. I'm just going to coat everything with a coat of furniture wax. guys I'm really sorry again I must apologize um, my mistake with the recording but I will eventually get it right I'm on a bit of a learning curve at the moment because I've never done anything like this before so recording whilst I'm making something it's really out of the ballpark for me but any case getting back to the drill vise it's got a maximum holding capacity of 170 millimeters which is far more than I'm ever going to use the turn handle of which I failed to record but that's turned out good as well so if you like the video please give me a like comment share and subscribe thanks for watching I'm Anthony Wood and this is Shopmad